Welcome to our lecture today about coronary steel syndrome, also known as cardiac steel syndrome. This is a term that we use when we are doing myocardial perfusion study. Let me explain this to you. Let's say that we have a vessel and this vessel has blood flowing through and this blood vessel will divide into two smaller vessels let's say that one of them is totally open but the other one has some stenosis at rest this area is not happy because it's ischemic it's not receiving enough blood flow while this area up is actually happy because it's receiving blood flow let's say that this patient who has this anatomy goes to exercise when the patient exercises the heart will be releasing vasodilators when the heart releases vasodilators this vessel will even become more dilated the problem is with the lower vessel because it's at ischemic at rest, this will be the maximum dilation at rest and it's already maximally dilated during stress. So when the patient exercises, the area that was receiving blood flow with vasodilators, it will receive more blood flow. So the patient will be very, very happy. But on this vessel, it's already maximally dilated at rest. So even during stress, you cannot even make it more dilated. So what will happen is that the patient will actually not receive blood flow to this territory. And that will aggravate ischemia. So basically, you are stealing the blood that was supposed to come to the lower area and instead, more blood will be flowing to the top area while the bottom area is not receiving enough blood and this is what we call coronary steel now some agents that we use during stress test imaging or myocardial perfusion imaging work through this uh, pattern one of them is diperidamol the other one is adenosine the other one is Rega Denison. And all of them work through the coronary steel phenomenon, where if there's an area that is already ischemic, once we give this agent, the area that is ischemic that has stenosis will become worse. While the area that does not have stenosis will get the enough blood flow that it needs during stress. And this will aggravate ischemia and we will be able to recognize it on nuclear imaging. If you have enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like it, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe to our channel.